Good afternoon. Uh, well, it's around lunchtime. Had to run up to Sherwin Williams. Been priming, priming in a new house today. But uh, I didn't get on. You didn't get a chance to really get on here and say much this morning. Just thinking about the love of God and uh, just thinking about love of God and love for the brethren. You know how it says in the Bible that uh, he, we love Him because He first loved us. I was thinking one of the ways we can show each other we really do. You know, true love does forgive. It says love does not take into account a, a wrong suffered. It does not hold on to wrongs. You know what I mean? To a wrong that someone did. It says it hopes all things. It endures all things. So we just got to endure with one another. Uh, continue. You know, I've just really been thinking about loving. Loving, you know, because the two. it says the whole law hangs on these two commandments. To love the Lord your God with all your heart your soul, your mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. You know, true love, like it, just how you would forgive your own family members a lot of times, or your own, you know what I mean? But there's a lot of times when someone does us very wrong, it, we don't let go of it as good if it's not someone, you know, that's very close to us or something, because what, like Jesus said, he said, well, what credit is that if you love those who love you? Do not even the sinners do the same? Ain't that what the Gentiles do? They love those that love them. You know, but he said, do good to your enemies, even even to those that are your enemies. You know, love them. You know, that's a, that's a true love that can uh, don't take into account wrong suffered and things like that. And uh, just to continue to love the Lord our God, you know. And it's okay to talk about this kind of stuff. People think, oh, it's just, that's a cliche talking about this kind of thing, you know, or just thinking, oh, people just, yeah, people do. They throw that love word around. A lot of people use love as a manipulation but i'm talking about real true love you know and i mean it is it's what what are, they used to have that one saying it said love is a verb you know it's an action it's an action and sometimes you have to intend we have to come with the intent to love i'm going to love today <laughs> There's been times I woke up I didn't feel in a lovable mood even towards my own wife my own kids and everything but I say, you know what? I'm not going to, them. I'm, these feelings the way I'm feeling, no. I'm going to choose to, we got to choose to walk in love anyway. Walk in love. You know what I mean? God is love. It says, it, that's what Jesus said over in, uh, in um, I think it was Luke, he said, uh, they will know you're my disciples because you love one another. That's how people's going to know because of our love for one another, not us arguing and debating and having strifes over all this. No, people knows it goes, wow, they love one another. I'm sure that's what they were saying back in Acts whenever they said it. said all them people went and they had lands and they went and sold them and they laid all the money at the apostles' feet. They said none of them said anything that they had was their own. They all shared. No one had need. I thought, I think people was like going, wow, they love one another. And I've read some things where that's how the Romans were like, man, there are, they were a peculiar people. You know, we're to be a peculiar people. We're a chosen race, a royal priesthood set apart for God's own possession. So anyway, I mean, even if you don't feel like loving, intend to do it. Let your motive say, no, 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 no. I'm not going to bow. See, we we know when you know that the flesh and the spirit are at war with one another, you don't submit to the flesh. So yeah, it's like sometime if I'm feeling something sometime, that's what you got to get in you and go, and you're feeling something that's contrary to the word of God. You go, whoa, 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 that's flesh. They're at war with one another. I'm not going to submit to that. It says you submit to the Spirit and you will not fulfill the deeds of the flesh. All that flesh, you get up and you feel strife. I felt strife with my wife before or her with me or whatever. But you, it's like, whoa, what are we going to do? We're going to submit to that? Or are we going to, or am I going to submit to the Lord and say, no, 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 no. Deny myself. Take up my cross daily and follow Jesus. Operate in love. Make, intend to do that. So, anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to continue to intend to love, to forgive. There's times where I've thought, well, I have a right to hold on to this unforgiveness or whatever. Well, they did this to me this many times. I, they done did it again. I'm, you know, I'm holding on to this. Well, um, you know, I'm, I'm, no, I don't have a right to hold on to nothing. Jesus said, even if your brother sins against you seven times in a day and comes back up, up to you seven times in a day saying, I, I repent, forgive him. Forgive forgive and forget if, if if he can forgive me i can forgive my brother or my sister or anyone else 
So yeah, I mean, uh, we we judge things according to the flesh, but we don't, you know what I mean? That's what we try to do in the flesh, but we don't do that. We, you know, we got to learn to see things the way God sees things and submit to the spirit and not fulfill the deeds of the flesh. Look, I love you all. I intend to share more love. I intend to walk in love more. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. I, I intend to you know what I mean? Submit to the Spirit, and I pray that we can continue to grow in love for one another and love for God. I love you all. Have a wonderful day.